guys and welcome to my channel. Today is all about Christmas ornaments and I will be creating several ornaments with a rustic farmhouse theme and all of my supplies are from Dollar Store, either Dollarama or Dollar Tree, except for maybe this stain. Uh, I will let you know where things come from. So the very first one that I am going to be making, I will be using the uh, red truck ornaments that came from Dollar Tree, some tongue depressor, tongue depressors or large popsicle sticks. Uh, those are from Dollar Store as well. And then this fabric that had come from Dollar Tree. I was super excited that they actually had them in my Dollar Store. And then a piece of cardboard and then some string as well as this stain but you can also just use acrylic paint if you want and then I will also use Mod Podge that had come from Dollar Tree as well so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut my cardboard into a decent square just really um, straighten out the edges as much as I can And I'm using my Cricut cutter for that. This is fairly thick cardboard. I am just trying to make the edges as straight as possible. And I want to mention that this video is part of a collaboration that I am hosting with several really talented ladies. It is a pretty big collab. And um, there will be a playlist where you can go and check out everyone's Christmas ornaments and what they've come up with and what they're sharing. The playlist will be linked down below. So when you're done watching my video, head on over and check out what they've created. So that's good. And now I'm going to just measure it out and find about a half of it or so. These are obviously going to be fairly large ornaments, but that's okay. So I'm going to stain just the one side of eight of them. And the stain that I'm using is the is a gel stain in Spanish oak by Old Masters. And you'll need a rag as well. looking for some um, decorate with me videos make sure you head on over to my home channel I posted my very first decorate with me video I have decorated my front foyer and I'm really really excited with the way it turned out it needs a couple more things but I will leave some stuff for my home tour so there are a couple surprises during home tour once my uh, home is complete but I would love it if you had had it on over there and let me know what you think ok 
Okay, so they're done. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. And now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these. Just wanna make sure my hands aren't dirty. And take some of this material. It's a decent size. And I'm just going to measure out and cut it to size. So that's done. Now moving on to Mod Podging. You want to apply fairly generous amount. front and back you want to flatten it out now it's time to trim the sides so that one's done and I'm going to repeat the same process for the next one so this had some time to dry. I will be hot gluing these on once my hot glue is heated. And you can use some of these lines as guides to make sure that you're gluing everything straight in case if not always does it work out that you see straight. <laughs> okay, so repeat the same thing for the other one. So the next part, I'm going to use these little ornaments. And I'm going to remove the little hanging on them I think I'm just going to cut it off with my wire cutters and this can go really anywhere it can go like this it can go like this you can put it right smack in the middle it's really up to you where you want to put it I might put mine right in the middle. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name. It's insane. And just to show you how it looks a different way, I'm gonna glue one here too. And let me know which one you like better. And now the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue, to glue this string for hanging. My next one, I'm going to be ow, 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 ow. using these ornaments, and I picked these up at Dollarama for $1.50 for four. So this sh should be a fairly simple DIY, I think. I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible uh, in explaining. So I want to make a 3D. Um, 
3D ornament out of these and you want to slice one of them up and one of them down. So I'm going to cut this one right there but I just have to figure out what is the best tool for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and just slide it on. Okay, there we go. And now you can also just slide a little bit of wood, uh, wood glue or hot glue into the little crevices just so it keeps it from coming apart but it's on there pretty tight so I don't think that that will happen. I have that and I also bought some stars and I will do the same thing to the stars. And you want to kind of loosen up any loose pieces so they're not getting caught when you're trying to slide it on. Okay, so this one was a bit harder than the other one, but I still managed to do it. So again, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue just to keep it in place. I'll let them dry and then you can just add your string back for hanging. Okay, I'm gonna grab new string just so it's a little bit longer. last one that I'm making, I'm going to be using these colored wood sleighs that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And they are nice ornaments. Okay, so, and these can be as elaborate as you want them to be or as simple as you want them to be. I'm just going to use a couple different paints for this job. Um, I'm going to make them a little bit more simpler. You could stain them, you could really do them many different ways. So the first one, I'm going to paint the body with white, but it's going to be more of a I think more of like a base, like a primer, just to cover up the little design. Actually, I'm going to do it with black first, and then I'm going to try something else with white. Because black will do a better job of covering it up. So I'm going to let that dry a bit and this one I'm going to paint the body with red. And I'm using Christmas red and just black. I think I'm going to have to do black here as well. 
But I will do red on this one uh, for the little sleigh parts, the little blades, I guess. I'm going to take some of my red off and just go over the black a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. And for this one, I'm just gonna dab some of this black off. And then I'm gonna go over with a little bit of dry white. Come on over for the merriest time of year. I'm still going to paint the sleigh leg, the blades part with red. But I have some of that black on, which on the the brush from the other project, which I will just leave on. And it's okay. If it gets on the little sides, that's fine. I have one of these in actual full size, and there uh, the paint is kind of mixed up everywhere, which what I kind of gave me the inspiration for for this project. Before the clock strikes and it's all. going to let that dry and then for this one I'm gonna dry brush white on this as well a little bit but just in the little crevices there and then I'm gonna go full black on the top part I'm not really loving how almost pinkish this turned out, so I'm gonna go over it with some red a little bit more. And I'm just going to take some of it off. And then I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of black. Take some of it off. So I think that's better. So I'm going to let these drop. I think for the top, I'm going to take one of these from this branch, cut it in half. I love this. Cut it one more half. Maybe go this way right now. Not sure if I like that either. Okay. I think I'm gonna just leave one like that. Break off one of these berries. Put it right there. I have these mini pine cones that came from Dollar Tree as well, and just trying to find the smallest one there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Christmas tree 
So here they all are. I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. I love how they look on my rustic farmhouse tree that I have in my at my front door. And I hope you like them too. And if you did, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. And make sure you check out the playlist full of wonderful ideas done by wonderful uh, crafters here on YouTube. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.